What's up YouTube, this is MacKim1 I uh, thought I'd give you a sort of fun deck profile today um, It's something I've been testing quite a lot on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro with a fair amount of success actually um, Considering I just put this deck together for just the lol, to see how well it would work um, I've got about a 4 to 1 win-loss ratio and that's even including um, again, it's one against like dragons and stuff like that. I think the only thing which I pretty much auto lose to is um, Evil Swarm. Um, you'll see why later later on, but um, that's just because YJ Pro is just single matches. I mean, single duels um, rather than a full match, so I can't side anything. But yeah, uh, the deck I'm going to show you today uses this glorious bastard slushy let's get straight into the deck profile okay uh, first and foremost uh, triple C answer uh, this is pivotal for your plussing and your reuse of resources so if you banished all, of, all three of your slushies um, equip them Equip your poison, draw frogs and dupe frogs um, to get pluses while protecting himself. Um, if people bottomless, you're only um, Besidra that you've had access to. You know, bring it back. Banish stuff for Tidal. Loop it. It's good. In the form of boss monsters, uh, run th 3 Besidra. Um, it's very rarely dead because it can summon itself from the hand anyway if you just spam some frogs out so, very good uh, then triple tidal it's a water deck that fills the grave and then ba needs to banish stuff so works really well and uh, the foolish effect is very nice just fixing your graveyard uh, then triple slushy you have to run three not just because it's good but you need three for the effect so uh, what he does is, if you have three slushy in grave or banished total, you banish him from your grave, and you plonk a Poseidra out on the field for pretty much no cost. So, big beats, rank 7 plays with tidal, that, all that good stuff. Um, for the frog engine, triple slot frog, uh, to treeborn. Treeborn isn't that necessary for the deck, but... Obviously, it allows you to get out your lances for nothing, so why not run it? Uh, two dupe. And two poison draw. Oh, and, uh, and two ronin. Almost forgetting one of the most important ones. Um, then, a card which seems to set this deck apart from other things I've seen. Um, triple Magical Merchant. Uh, what this does is uh, you set it, they attack into it or it survives a turn, uh, flip it, mill through your deck until you get to spell or trap, and then add that to hand. So um, you plus one off that effect and mill most of your deck. And considering this is a deck somewhat like um, E Dragons, where you can just summon stuff from deck from a grave relatively easily for no cost once you've got the setup, um, milling most of your deck is actually a good thing. And then I play rather a lot of hand traps, uh, triple Vela, uh, Gauze, uh, to Trag, and triple Maxi to round off the monsters. Um, can't really find room for battle faders, but with the amount of draw power this deck has, you can get your Gauze and Trag usually. Uh, but spells and traps, um, one dark hole, one foolish, uh, double salvage, and one six cents. Um, made quite a lot of people rage just by going mill, 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 six cents, set it, they don't have the MST, draw five. Just stupid pluses. Uh, for the extra, uh, one Slack Magician, one Phoenix. One Herald of Pure Light, two Gachi Gachi, uh, one Dark Mist, one Gaius, Big Eye, 
one Dragosac, one Gaia, one Blades, uh, for Synchros, uh, one Formula, one Misper Claws. This um, this can be changed for Armory Arm. Um, I find myself switching between the two rather a lot, so it just depends what you find you need more. And then uh, Scrap Dragon and Crimson Blader. In terms of how a deck functions, it's um, it's ro quite fast if you don't draw like three Poseid or three Sea Lance with your opening hand or something. But it generally sorts itself out fairly quickly. Um, in that regard, it's not very good against uh, OTK decks unless you have your maxi um, and anything which has inherent stun, like anything which runs um, Christia will shut you down, um, Ophion shuts you down. But that's what Psyduck's for. Um, I won't go into Psyduck today, because I rarely do anyway, because that changes week to week. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like the concept? Um, I understand that it's not the most competitive deck, but it's probably better than just giving you another dragon deck profile, because I think we're all sick of those by now. But yeah, it's been Uzmakunai1, signing out.